Hi guys, uh, I'm, my name is Inês, I'm an artist and illustrator and I'm here because I want to talk to you about something that I just bought that I think it's very cool and I didn't know it existed until like a few uh, weeks ago. So I just bought this Misery Newton Artisan uh, Water Mixable Oil Color Set Suit Studio Set, oh my god, it's like a worthy uh, title. So it's basically Water Mixable Oils by Windsor Newton. And this comes with this, like this amount of paints, like really nice sized uh, paints. And also with linseed oil that you can add if you want to uh, dilute a little bit and make the drying process slower, so it doesn't dry too much. And um, I made uh, a painting that is not perfect whatsoever. It's just like my way of trying at the blending and see how uh, the paint would perform with layers and, and all of that. And I will insert it right away so you can see all the process. And in the end, I will show you and share with you my final thoughts about this product. Hope you enjoy. Every time I try a medium for the first time, I tend to use as a subject something that I'm used to painting, that is inside my comfort zone. So I can concentrate solely on the performance of the medium. So here I started by using a pinkish base layer, because even though I'm adding lots of layers on it, it will still peek through in some areas, so I think it's, it's really important to have that color and tone under the painting. Then I block some shadows and highlights using cool and deeper shades uh, for the contour and shadows and bright and warmer shades for the highlights. And then I try to blend all of the different tones. Then, I continue adding paint and blending until I'm happy with the chromatic structure of the face. In here, then I start to make the underpainting of the hair using a warm tone and then mapping out the shadow of the hair and the waves using a deeper tone, a deeper brown. Then I add some details and define the features by adding some contrast to the painting. I start adding some highlights, defining the eyes, and overall just defining the, the features of the, of the face. Not overdoing it, not over blending, but just making sure that the expression is what I wanted it to be. Then I start working on the hair and this part specifically is one that I'm not super pleased about and if I was working on Procreate or in digital painting probably I would go back and redo it which I totally can even though it's a traditional painting um, but I ended up like changing a little bit of the form of the waves and the overall structure of the hair looked a bit different but I was having a bit of a hard time um, with the blending. It took a bit more than I expected for the red tones to dry and that meant that every time I added some paint for the highlights, um, instead of being bright and contrasting, it would just blend with the existing colors. It was more challenging than I expected and even though the final result is different from my initial intention, I'm still pleased with the way the hair looked in the end.
Here I'm painting the background in a light blue with a hint of violet because I think it contrasts well with the red of the hair and I quite like the chromatic combination of these two colors. I start blending the background, which was quite easy and straightforward. I added some darker hues of blue and just worked a bit on the dimension of the background using gradients. I also added a bit of crimson to the lowest part of the painting to tie up the different shades. Then I started working on the clothing. I wanted to make it seem that as the fabric was a bit see-through, so I made sure I had the skin color peeking through, but also having a mixture of warmer and cooler tones. I added highlights to the hair, I decided to use white as the base and then use a bright orange on top uh, so the colors would pop out a little bit. So I had some problem uh, before with using um, brighter colors on top of the red because they would just blend in. So I decided to try using the actual white to do the strands of hair that I wanted to do as little details and then use on top of it a bit of orange so they would pop out more and be brighter. I was not pleased with the flower, the color of the flower was too dark for my taste so I decided to paint over it with white, uh, like a pinkish white uh, as the base and then um, also I wasn't happy with the actual position of the hand so I decided to just teach it completely and just do a regular portrait without a, a hand so the, as I said before this wasn't like a very planned out portrait so uh, I decided once I was painting that I would change as I, I went along then I added some details to the flower, uh, some highlights, some dar dark shades as well to make the shadows. The basic things that you actually do. Then I added like some last details to the hair and I defined the eyes because for me, um, more than anything, the eyes are the most important bit of a portrait that I usually focus more on. I added a sort of faded lights to create a bit of a whimsical atmosphere to the painting and giving a more interesting look to the background. And I also added it like uh, highlights to the hair as if the some light would come from behind and uh, the top of the hair would be highlighted. I actually liked the way it turned out. So basically I was just playing along, doing what I felt at the moment. Sometimes it's good to just go with the flow, don't have a, an, any specific plan. And so this is the final look of the portrait. I'm quite pleased with the end result, I still can't believe I only used water to mix with the oils and that I only needed water and soap to clean the brushes, so I'm quite blown away with this product and I can't wait to use it again. 
So what did I think about this product? I really enjoyed it to be honest. The whole process was quite easy. I love the fact that I didn't take too long to clean the brushes and all of the, the things that I used during the painting process. Uh, the drying time was not too bad because I, I think it dries a bit faster than normal oils anyway. Uh, the behavior of the, of the paint is quite similar to normal oils. Uh, the blending process is very easy. Um, so like overall I really enjoyed the experience. I don't feel it's too different. I will definitely try it again. I, so this is like the, the final um, experiment. It's not perfect. It was a way of um, just trying a new medium, but it was good to understand how the, the paint behaved and I will definitely try it with a different composition, more complex as well. I will definitely do more works with it and I will share it with you as well. So make sure you follow me. Uh, I will link this uh, product down below if you want to try it for yourself. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.